welcome to Consultant's Corner. I'm Rebecca Brizzi. This is my corner. I am a consultant. It's called the curse of knowledge. Sometimes you just know too much. It is the reason why it can be so challenging for business owners to talk about their own business in a truly effective way that lets the audience understand why they should be interested in this particular business. The Harvard Business Review explains this curse of knowledge phenomenon, that once we know something, it becomes so difficult for us to imagine not knowing that thing, making it hard to share that thing because we can't recreate the lack of knowledge in our mind. In simpler terms, you know your business too well. A lot of the information that you can assume or take for granted does not exist already in your audience's brain. Here are three exercises that I perform with my clients that twist their view around so that they can see their business from their client's point of view. They can forget what they already know and learn it anew in telling it. The jargon removal exercise, the before and after you are in the room exercise, and the wants versus needs exercise. Jargon removal is what it says on the tin. Look at everything that you have written or that you regularly say about your business and remove all jargon. All jargon is anything that is mainstream or common in your industry, but is not mainstream or common around the dinner table. Obviously any acronyms, obviously any industry specific terms, but add to that any words that are used in a different way or different context in day-to-day -day language. The most extreme example I ever had of this was working with a financial advisor to replace the word savings account. The point was to get her to understand what that might mean to clients who had never had a savings account. Savings is not per se an industry specific or jargony word, but in her industry, it means a specific thing. If you are unsure what actually constitutes jargon, have somebody not in your industry read through this, a friend, a parent, a grandparent, send it to me and redline anything that they would not use in everyday conversation. The before and after you are in the room exercise. You are probably all too familiar with what happens with your client when you are in the room with them. That is you delivering your product or service. What I want you to do for this exercise is describe everything that happens before you enter the room and everything that happens after you leave the room. Describe the journey up to the point that they are actually working with you, everything that happens before. And after you have left the room, that transaction may be over, but your client's life goes on. So what does their life look like after you have left the room? And wants versus needs. You are an expert in what your clients need. Your client is an expert in what he or she wants. Take a piece of paper, draw a line down the middle of it, and at the top I want you to write needs on one side, wants on the other. In the needs column, first, write down all the things that you do. These are the things that your client needs. Particular expertise, actions, activities, tools, this is what you do for a living. In the wants column, write down the corresponding want. Why does your client need this thing? Because they want to achieve this other thing. The wants column should also obviously have no jargon and it should look a lot like what you see both before and after you are in the room. That is about your client's life not about yours. Try these three exercises. What do you learn about your business when you do it? And expect it to be challenging. If you find this too easy, go again. Feel free to share results or your eureka moments. Use the comment section underneath this video and have fun with these exercises. You just might learn something new about yourself. Enjoy that homework and I'll see you back here next week as always with our next video. Bye now.